Welcome and thank you for joining us again with one of my auto drill tutorial videos. Today we're going to discuss how to dimension your drill press or milling machine for purposes of an adapter when acquiring a multiple spindle head. If you look at the table here below, you'll see some of the things that you might need or come across during that process. Uh, in order to gain the dimensions that you need for the machine, you're going to need either the use of a caliper or a micrometer. You might come across that your machine has a Morse taper or perhaps an RA taper in the event of a bridge port or a like type uh, milling machine. Uh, you'll need some of these tools in order to get the dimensions. When purchasing a head from Auto Drill, we'll send you one of these PDFs uh, that will show you on a standard drill press. You might have a Jacobs taper or a Morse taper. In the event of a bridge port or like type milling machine, you'll come across an RA taper. These dimensions are very important for your machine in order for the adapter to clamp on properly and that way uh, everything works perfectly as needed. Uh, you'll see behind me here are two different standard type uh, drilling machines. This one with a non-rotating drill, with a Morse taper key chuck, or this one has a non-rotating crow but also a depth gauge. Depending on your machine, you might come across either one of these and we're gonna show you how to get the proper dimensions for that. Uh, with using a simple mallet and a key, you can just pop it in the slot here if you want to zoom in there. By just dangling on that, you simply take out the Morse taper out of a drill press and get the dimensions that you needed. Right here and then here with the use of again the caliper or a micrometer. For our purposes, I'm going to use a caliper quickly as it provides, provides a quick dimensioning. When trying to determine what size Morse taper you have, simply place the caliper right underneath here. And that will provide you with a dimension relatively close to what is needed for the Morse taper. We have here 0.933. If you look to our chart, you'll see that it's 9.938 as a Morse taper number three. So you'll be able to use our charts to determine which Morse taper your machine is. Again, using the same tool, you try as best possible to get the outside diameter of the non-rotating part of the quill. I say non-rotating because it's very important to know that when an adapter clamps onto your drill press, it needs to be something that's not going to turn. As you'll see here, the only thing, the only thing that rotates is right underneath here, the spindle where the Morse taper locks into, allowing the adapter to clamp on here, a driver to be stored in the Morse taper, and drive the multiple spindle head. Now in the event of this drill press, the part in which we'll clamp it onto is covered by a depth gauge. So you'll need to remove that gauge in order for the clamp to uh, lock on properly. In some machines, you might have enough space to just slide up the depth gauge and still clamp onto with our adapter. In this event, you would not. You would simply take the tool over here, loosen the depth gauge, Slide it off, and that'll be the spot that we would clamp onto. And as you can see, this part does not rotate, allowing the Morse taper, or in this case, the Jacobs taper, to lock onto the multiple spindle head. In the future, we would not mount on the multiple spindle head. It's a fairly straightforward process, but again, a very important process in order to get the correct dimensions for our adapters to use on an auto drill multiple spindle head. And that is it. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your business. Have a great day.